Hello, this is Stickfy2 playing Distance. Um, so, in full uh, honesty, I've actually already played the adventure for this. Okay, maybe I should back up a little bit. So, this game is still in beta. The adventure mode isn't really that long. I already played it, found it enjoyable, and then there. I was thinking afterwards that, like, I kind of wish I had recorded this. I didn't know quite what I was getting into, but it became very interesting. So I have decided to now go back and play it again and record it this time. So that is what you are li currently listening to. Uh, I guess there's an intro video. It doesn't really matter too much. The point is it. The point is that there's a car and you drive the car. That's basically all you need to know for the plot of this game. And you know, honestly, you don't really need to know that because that's the gameplay. So yeah, but I'll I'll let it play because it exists. Uh, the first time I played this, I decided to mostly play it in the first person view. This time I might try out third person. I'm not sure. Just you know, see how they both compare. And here we are. Uh, it's the first like half of the adventure is kind of tutorial. Uh, if I try things that aren't like unlocked yet, it just says input corrupt. Let's see what overheating is like. Oh, those uh, circle things regenerate to avoid letting me overheat. Oh yeah, I really like the music in this game too. It's very, you know, appropriate for an arcadey racing game. So I could have jumped there, but didn't really notice until too late. Fairly relaxing, just driving along. I mean, the, yeah, world one, level one, whatever you want to call it, not too exciting. And the adventure isn't all that long, but the the game, ooh, I wonder if this is a shortcut, is largely not uh, not about the adventure specifically, but it has workshop content and are just different game modes related to that. Sprint, which is like the basic races, is I think what I like the most, which is what I'm currently doing. There's I guess you could just go for the best time, but there aren't specific uh, in adventure or whatever. There's not really any penalty or problems if you die or whatever. It's just just play through the levels. That's all. And enjoy the scenery. Oh yeah, so this is the new mode I'm trying. I could zoom out. I don't think I'm going to stick with that. This and this is the mode to, uh, for you know more intense gameplay or whatever you want to call it that I tried out before, which was definitely interesting. So I do feel like now I'll play this level this way, but I do feel like sometimes it might make it harder to see exactly what's going on. I can jump, I'll jump car. I uh, didn't quite see what was going on there until a little too late. I survived. That's what matters. Yeah, it's still overall fairly relaxing gameplay. Uh, yeah. Oh, whew. But I do like the ability to jump. Otherwise, it would be a little less exciting of game because without any specific uh, challenges or whatnot it's 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 more relaxing I guess of a racing game of course you can play multiplayer and then race other people which there isn't any collisions it's kind of like track mania but it's you now racing for time I actually don't know if I had to jump there. I probably didn't. 
Um, oh, right. I'll go back to third person to try this out for myself. Oh, that's... Yeah, okay. I could wait until I hit that grid or, you know, just hit select or back or whatever to, to reset myself. bit of stuff to dodge here and there. But overall, not too bad. I mean, what, what road do you see that doesn't have a couple saws here and there? Nothing wrong with that. Giant saws. Ooh. Sweet jump. Oh yeah, I like, so the music is, ex ah, so the music is excellent, but you might notice the lights and like the level syncs up with it a bit. It's good attention to detail. I like it. Uh, yeah, a couple saws aren't too bad to dodge. That was close. That, uh, this is still drivable. I'll take it. One thing I sometimes like to do at the end is a, oh, ah, uh, never mind. I was gonna do something that I don't have unlocked yet. Departure. I didn't actually look at the titles of levels. Can I? I was actually tempted to s try to saw off a little bit of my car just for fun or laser off or whatever you want to call it. Uh, okay, that was maybe a bit more than I wanted. I'll actually try to dodge these. Also that time I mostly just didn't react in time. I can fly. Like an eagle. Or really more glide like a squirrel. But that doesn't sound quite as elegant. You can see the, the bar thing on the back. I'm just gonna quickly, oh. Uh, I was going to check something, but it changed. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what, oh no, it's pointing down. Uh, sorry, those arrows on the back of my car, I'm trying to figure out what it means when it's just pointing in like four directions like that. Eh, whatever. Because in first person view, so you see how it's four directions there. Here it's just pointing down, which I think it's just you know, pointing in gravity direction. All right, that that was something. Uh, aha! I'll go down instead of around. And we're good. Flying is. How do I put it? The gameplay in this, well, game is definitely satisfying. It responds very well to controls. Oh, also the game is very pretty. I'm hopefully recording at a high enough bit rate and settings and whatnot for that to come across. Uh, but if not, then just take my word for it. There we go. Also, I hope I'm not sounding too much like an advertisement. I, I I enjoy this game. That's the main thing I'm trying to get across. I'm not, this is obviously not sponsored content because why on earth would I be sponsored? Uh, oh, I feel like my car said something, but I missed it. It just looked kind of like hacky text. Oh, uh, there's the, the, 
uh, thing. All's good. All, no, uh, nothing to worry about. No, oh, and it's gone. Simple as that. I did not need to glide there. Yeah, I do like the gliding. It's not like you have to unlock. It's only enabled in certain areas or whatever. It's or like you unlock it uh, for those specific jumps. It's like if you need a little bit of gliding to adjust your flight path or whatever, you could just do that. Oh, am I going fly? I'm going flying. I honestly have no idea if I'm supposed to dodge those or not. And back. When playing this game, I pretty much always have my hand on the boost button. And that should do it. For that landing. I like to, you know, to not deploy, uh, Put away the glider slightly early uh, for maximum speed. Uh, not sure what's going on here. Everything seems okay. Lasers. Things to dodge and saws. Okay, well, okay, saws are also things to dodge, but you get the idea. And do I'm, am I going flying? I'm going flying. Okay. Um. Oh. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh, it did. It. It dead. It died. I killed it. I drove through it too well. Almost died there. Woo. Uh, it's all electric. Yeah. I think this is about where it's like, all right, this game's pretty good now. Yeah. Sorry, not advertising. Um, it's getting a little bit more exciting than just the relaxing driving around. Affected. Flight ability corrupted. Uh, yep. Oh yeah. So to fly, I press X again in midair, and right now that's not working. So I guess I just have to drive my best. Quarantine? Is that what that said? Oh yep. That it's it's working. Simple enough. Okay, so I said earlier that, you know, you're just kind of free to use the ability, but I'm fine with them having the ability. Them sometimes, uh... oh, okay. So basically I have more control in the air. Uh, them being able to restrict it at certain times. Uh... Am I gonna get there? I'm a rocket. Nope. Ah! No! I missed. So I'm in space. Did... Good enough. Uh, yeah. Okay, I like that.
Ah! I saw that coming. I did let go of boost, but I didn't like break or anything like that. I'm breaking is a bit much for me. Uh, oh, glad there's a regeneration thing right there. Uh, oh, there's a wall. Wall riding. And no, not like Outlast. Yeah, that that's cool. Uh, uh, good enough, maybe? No. As soon as it got restored, I should have just tried gliding back onto the track. Oh, walls. Gotta avoid the walls. See, that's what I usually, or maybe not usually, but often like to end with a little bit of a barrel roll, now that I've unlocked the side thrusters thing, which really just means extra air control. Friction. Uh, wait. It got corrupted right after the restoration. I didn't even realize I had to jump on the walls there. I just happened to jump to the side and it worked out perfectly. Uh, I have down thrusters. Handy. FYI, I think that's all of the things unlocked. Uh, eh, no, 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 I'm dead. I'll let you see the uh, Emancipation Grid. It's not actually called that. The Death Grid, whatever it's called. Oh, almost missed the walls. Uh, wall, not walls, plural. Okay, still doing okay. I'm assuming the walls are somewhat magnetic or whatnot, because I stick to them very well. Wall right? Am I going straight up? Oh, okay. Yeah, the arrow points for gravity, so I should be going down. Or sorry, gravity should be pointing down again. Well, okay, it's not like gravity's changing, but... Oh! Eh, almost got it, hit it! Okay. For that part in first person, the camera doesn't flip around. Oh, I gotta turn left. Ah. Uh, I like those side music thingies. And I can fly again. Well, now it's the end of the level. Yeah. Maybe I'll do one more level in first person and see what it's like. And here we are. Gotta do those short hops. It's very uh, in the action. So from there, I thought it was, okay, left, right, left, right. But then I noticed that, oh, there's a gap to the right. Does that mean it's fully blocking the left? Uh, so I panicked and thought maybe I can't go to the left of it. And then you can see what happened. Jump and rotate. Ah. Uh, back onto the road. So yeah, there it's like, sometimes it's hard to keep track of which way down is. Which way is down? I'm gonna assume both are grammatically correct. And there we go. Oh, I actually thought I managed to make it through there. Well, anyways, the checkpoint puts me straight in the middle, so that's easy enough. Some good wall riding. Quite the wall rider. I looked down for a moment to see if I needed to fly, but I just. I was a little slow to react there. 
But I saw that now I'm corrupt anyways. All right, just staying in the middle. Uh, left or right, left or right. Here's a common uh, decision to make. I probably made the harder decision. As in right probably would have been easier. Uh, they say left or right, I choose middle. And I... Okay, this one's not a choice. This one's a go middle. See, this time I'm aware of the wall and noticing it in time. Ooh, hit the wall, or the wall of the wall, whatever you want to call that. I hit that a little bit. I don't actually know if I need to boost there, but I like to do that. Or, I don't know if boost is the right word. The downward thrusters. Oh, I'm on the floor. Okay. I was about to say... Sorry, I just checked the gravity thing and was about to say that I'm very lost. Let's figure out where it is. And then it's like, oh, hey, I'm on the ground. Corruption. Okay, yep, I'm corrupted. Uh, oh, almost uh, jumped straight into that upper laser. Left or right, that time I don't think I can go middle. Oh, uh, you know, I'll go back to third person. See this view once more. I do like the downward thrusters. Uh, wow, that worked. Wow. Jumped through the grid and the blazers and managed to dodge them all. I'm alive. I think I broke through that. I don't know. I've, I have not done that before. I'm just going with the flow. Those arrows are very helpful. Nice and easy. I don't see a... Wait, was that a ramp in the middle? That probably was a ramp in the middle. Uh, I'll try the middle. Okay. So I will tell one thing from the previous campaign or whatever. That, this part was super difficult in first person because I felt like I didn't have a whole lot of warning. I'll, if I die here, okay. It like, it's harder to, here, you can see how you don't see up a whole lot. So I had a general idea of what was going on, but not very accurate idea. So I died a few times there. Okay, I'm going somewhere or other. Ceiling ride, wall ride, I'm going down. Down. And stored. Um, yeah, all right, this part's not too bad at all. I spoke too soon. Wait, I'm. I can still drive, technically? Well, I'm not dead yet. All right, I'll just reset. Because otherwise I just have to wait until I hit the ground. I don't remember that. But, okay. Uh, what's that green thing on this side? Oh, it's a circle. Green is good. Yay, the ending. Door now. Is 
So far, nothing too bad. Oh, I should have tried flying up there. Never mind, input corrupt. I don't think I would have been able to take a middle route. It's just, oh, there's a ramp. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's actually try that route because that route seems entertaining. I just need to not fail. What? I hit my roof. All right, this is the route I'm taking. Nope, that's not the route I'm taking. Hmm. So last time I jumped too early and I just hit that street ramp thing. Now I'm failing to jump in time. There we go. Much better. Oh, flagged for a second there. Probably because I'm recording. Uh, hmm. Alright, this has gotten fast paced. Which is good for a racing game, but also panicky. Almost missed that one. It's like that second of panic of where do I go? And then realize, oh, right, the wall. Am I on a wall? No, I'm not on a wall. Okay. I think I would have fallen if I was. Okay. Well, right there, I made the mistake of checking which direction gravity was, and then when I looked back to in front of me, I was dead. So I'm probably going to largely ignore gravity and just hope things work out. There's a big red ball. Oh! That's attacking me? Or maybe it's just the level? I don't know. Uh... I do not see where I'm supposed to go there. Is there a wall? There, no, no. I was gonna say, is there a wall to ride on? But no, that's just saws and death. Maybe I could just make the jump. Okay, I just need to make the jump. I was pretty close, to say the least. Yeah, whatever, good enough. Car's intact. I'm not dead. Ah. I'm fixed. Even though I didn't drive through one of those fixy thingies. Also, I should have done the short hop with the downward boost, whatever. Or even flown or done literally anything other than what I did. That's more like it. That I, I was just too slow to activate flying. All right, gotta avoid the red. Well, avoid all the things. This is flying. Uh, that uh was me trying to find the next blue circle. I. Good enough! Good enough. And hey, the ending. Destination unknown. Oh, yeah, there's more of those teleporty, not spheres, dodecahedron, shapes. Tesseracts. Word. Geometry. Something. This is definitely has the intense music going. I wonder if that was a different path to the left. I don't know. I thought I saw something to the left, but could very well just be scenery. Tops. Uh, that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. I didn't. I probably should have finished that sentence. I didn't explode myself with uh, using too much boost. You know, I'm just gonna do a lot more short hops because I think in general. That was a little too short of a hop. In general, they're a little bit safer when you're not quite sure what's going to be coming 
afterwards. Left. Uh. Ah. And that's it. So yeah, not too long main campaign, especially once you've already played it and know a bit more of what you're doing so you don't die as much. But the game, yeah, it's not all about adventure mode. There's workshop content and plenty of maps to just play, race, etc. That's uh, about it. I'll just play through the credits quickly. And then I'll leave you to it. Yeah, quick barrel roll. People. Oh yeah, you can move camera around, but it's almost never a good idea. Also, that's not very readable to me. Uh... Oh, that's just a short thing. I was going to say, I made it back, but then saw that I, I very much did not. By short thing, I think it was like another sphere of teleportation. Oh, no, not a sphere of teleportation. It was the end. So I actually died on the credits. We'll, we'll keep that a secret. And yeah, that's it. I'll let you listen to a little bit of this main menu music. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye, Internet.